Good morning, Facebook friends. So, curiosity more than anything this morning. I, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm tempted to say, oh dear, I could be all over the place this morning because that's the way my brain is. It's all over the place. However, I am going to ixnay that, cancel that, calia that. I am, I'm together and focused, and I'm here to say that. I woke up this morning, initially, surprised at how early it was when I awoke, and I got up, used the toilet, saw the sight of that lump in the bed that is that warm body that is my husband, and thought, oh, it would be so nice to snuggle up to him for a while before I get up. So I'm going to crawl back into bed. I did so and immediately kind of dozed off into that semi-dreaming state. And when I awoke again, I had some strange sensations. I was just feeling a little odd. I was tempted to say, I'm feeling tired. I feel like I ran a marathon last night. And then I remembered, wait a minute, I am not any of those things. I am not my body. I am not my feelings. I am so much more than that. I am the love and light that is. And those other sensations that I'm experiencing are coming from this eye of that love and light being in this human body and having this human experience of being connected to the environment around me and the people around me. Good morning, Julie. Lovely to see you here this morning. So... I'm going to ask this question of you and ask you when you watch this, whenever you watch this, think about how you felt when you woke up this morning and monitor how you feel throughout the day. Do you at any point ever feel like, this is weird, I'm just feeling odd, I don't know where this feeling is coming from? Chances are very good that that feeling is coming from somewhere outside of you. If you're at all empathic, and we all are, we all have to be, if we're all one, if any one of us, hello, good morning, Annette. If any one of us has the ability to sense what other people are feeling, which is the definition of, of empathy, being able to feel what another feels. If any one of us can do that, then all of us can do that, for all of us are one. It's just a matter of how often you observe that that's what's happening and you acknowledge that that's what happening is happening. Are you just not, hi, hi Annette, yeah, it's just nice talk to him, hi. Have you acknowledged the fact that what you're feeling might actually be picking up a feeling that somebody else is having? For example, um, one day I was sitting at a restaurant and I just felt really overwhelmingly sad. Thank you for the thumbs up. And my brilliant husband, who's been with me for almost, well, more than 32 years, um, knows me by now. And he said, so is it yours? And I did a little check-in. Sometimes that's a muscle test. Sometimes I actually see or hear a yes-no answer. And I got, no, it's not mine. Oh, okay. So happy to serve whoever is feeling that sadness and take a moment, just pause, put my hands on my heart. Know that I am love and light. Take a breath in. I am love and light. I am not this sadness. Hello, Shirley. Thank you for sharing that video. I appreciate your share so much. So, Empathy is as much about being aware about what's happening, what's going on in your mind, what's going on in your feelings and sensations. Sharon Karn and I of Sound Wellness did a webinar on being empathic at one point in time. I'm not sure you might still be able to catch that webinar on her website. Hello, Donna. Good morning. Um, all of you that have joined here this morning, send a little type in. How are you feeling this morning? Or how were you feeling when you woke up? I know I was feeling affected by the weather outside. I hadn't even opened my blind yet. Hello, good morning, Pat Patricia. It's so great. So many people joining us this morning. I, again, I'm asking you to type in, 
How are you feeling this morning? What are the feelings that you are experiencing? To borrow from my landmark training, I am having the experience of feeling, fill in the blank, um, and I was having the experience of feeling tired, of feeling like I just didn't want to get out of bed, that I wanted to snuggle up, pull up the covers and hibernate. So actually it wasn't that much of a surprise when my husband finally was the one to move and get out of bed and pull down the blind and look outside and go, oh, snow, we got a fair bit of snow overnight. Mm, hence the feeling of wanting to snuggle in, stay warm and hibernate. It had nothing to do really <laughs> with what I did last night or did yesterday or it was just picking up on the environment around me. So the awareness of that, what do you do about it once you have the awareness? As I said, pause, put your hands on your heart, feel your heart beating, know that you are here. Take a deep breath into your belly. Hello, Barbara. Change. Oh, Annette, you have to leave us. No worries, have fun with your appointment. Barbara, what do you mean by change? Change is what you're feeling, the need for change, or you're thinking, you're, you're feeling I need to change how I'm feeling. Um, that You can do that. You can change how you're feeling by being present to that fact. I am love and light. I am all that is. I am picking up on feelings of what's happening around me, but that doesn't have to identify who I am, what I am, how I'm being. I don't know if this is making any sense and if I can make it make sense in just a few Facebook Live minutes. All I can do is say, give this a go, give it a try. Whenever you feel something that doesn't feel right, that just ask yourself, wow, is this even mine? Am I picking up something outside of myself? Breathe. I am love and light. All is well. I am at peace. Think that and you might be amazed at how your feelings change, at actually how you experience a shift. You're not going to know until you try, so give it a try and then come back and post later today and let us know how it worked. Love to hear from you. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thanks for the thumbs up and for um, ah, thank you, Barbara. You are changing. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Uh, I am changing too. We're all changing every day if we're present to what's happening around us. It takes that conscious awareness. I've said it before, I'll say it again. So, from me to you, from the Shin Dao, the way of the heart, we wish you a blessed, consciously aware day. And remember, you are that love and light. You are peace. Namaste.